And if you know your history, it's enough to make your heart go. <laughs> oh, and welcome back. Uh, this, as you probably uh, recognise, is a line from a famous uh, Celtic Celtic uh, football uh, club anthem. Uh, and it leads me to ask the question, how much do you know about your Celtic history? Anyway, the Celts, or the Celts, from which uh, Celtic gets its name, were a strong and powerful people who controlled most, much of the European continent north of the Alps in the 3rd century BC. Uh, they became a massive threat to Rome and its empire, so Rome set out to destroy them. The Celts eventually retreated uh, after much resistance uh, to Ireland and northern parts of Britain, where much of their culture still exists today. Uh, the mid to late 1800s were a terrible time for the Irish. Uh, much like the Palestinian people today, they were forced to emigrate, denied their identity and starved. Scotland in particular, Glasgow, became a refuge for many of these, these dispossessed and impoverished people. Uh, Brother Walfred was an Irish priest from County Sligo. He was dedicated uh, to feeding and finding employment uh, for these poor Irish in Glasgow. Uh, he was met with walls of religious intolerance and hatred for the Irish. So in order to raise money for them, he formed a football club to attract paying customers. He named it Celtic to create a link between the indigenous Scots and the newcomers. The club's doors were open to all, no matter about faith, colour, creed or race. Uh, Celtic Park, Parkhead or Paradise as it was called, <clears throat> was built in six months uh, by, by volunteers in 1888. The first turf and the stadium was transported from County Donegal and laid by the great Irish patriot uh, Michael Davitt from the Land League. The club's colours are green and white and the Irish flag has flown over Celtic grounds uh, the entire time since 1888. The first tricolour was presented uh, to Celtic by the Irish government uh, in 1922 and the Irish government replaced it in 1952, 30 years later. There's been many legal battles to have the flag removed. Uh, despite all this, it flies there still. When the, when the pitch grounds were redone in 1995, a sod was cut again in Donegal and transported to be placed in centre of Celtic Park. The club is now the biggest and most successful club in Scotland. It has massive support in Donegal and in Ireland and buses leave weekly to attend matches in Glasgow. For more on Irish history, uh, go on to Amazon, uh, buy my book, Struggle, A Walk Through Irish History and Rebellion. And uh, if you like my post, please do like and share. Thank you.